what we're trying to do is, and the reason we're doing it, is we, we land the bricks with normal mortar and then we point them with lime. And the reason is because we did, we've done a lot of work around the property previous and we buy the large bulk bags of lime and we're nearly down to the last scrapings of it. So it's decided rather than buy an expensive bag of lime, that we'll let it in cement sand and then we'll back it up with, with lime pointing. And that's simply that's the reason why. Lime that come in bulk bags, you can see over there, they come in like ton bags. And we mix it. Right, we're pointing up today. We're putting lime mixture on the face of that, what we wrote out before. And just to avoid any doubt, look, these are calf candies. I don't want anyone thinking they're anything else. And if they've got an issue with them, look, take up a Tesco's. So that's the bag of calf candies. That's the most important thing of the day. Get up there. There we go, do a little bit of pointing up. Get this all in, then we'll point it up with a stick in a little while, let it go off. Beat it with a stick, yeah. Got well, his old calf candies, you know, his boss. Ah. Mm. What's that, Skippy? Mm. They're not calf candies? Well, you little trader. Hands and knees grovel like a dog. Yeah, that's coming. You sort of you've done this. Get them laying on my old cloth here like a dog. Here we go, here we go. And what we do first is and we'll just go over it, just give it the ones over first, fill any gaps up, like that. Fill them up. And then I'll leave it a little while, then go back on it one more time. That's painstaking, but that's how you get get the effect that you want. This, you can't rush this. This is like old site work. This is pain. Brick line pain. Ooh. Get in there. It's so starting to come, because that's slightly thinner than joints. But the problem I had when we'd done all this is that we set it out, and you keep them as tight as you can, but the bricks are so varying in size and shape that you end up sometimes like you'll see here we've got we've had to put in like a like there a sort of five inch piece and sometimes that get a little smaller but that's because the nature of these bricks are just not one size Leave. If you come round here, yeah. telling me to pull yeah. my ass out cart size, I go, oi, mush, now! Yeah, leave it. Leave it. Leave it. You are pushing your luck too far. I think you're right, Frank. The well, first time, say, we just go over it once, just get it somewhere in there, and then we can polish it up. Cross joints first, if we can. And pull that to you. I'm sort of pressing without pressing, if that makes sense. Let's get a trial. Pick the worst off. And you just sort of basically sort of float to where you want it. Using my stick, a little bit of hardwood. Do what you spline, let's just pull the pieces out of it and all.
there's no quick remedy for this. But if you want the right look, that's just that's time, that's all you can give it. Keep scraping it back. We can scrape it for a few days to be fair. Get my stiff brush. And that'll just get better and better. Big shout out to Dan, the KFC man. I know you'll be on it right now. Probably got a big bowl, bag and bucket. All right, it's a bit early, but I'm sure you'll find a way. Hello, all, all, hello to all the old, uh, the boys in the colleges, especially the ones there. Uh, they know who I'm talking about, don't they, John? Yeah. Oh, what place is there? Oh. I'm thinking about Black Adder. That's what I'm thinking of there. Black Adder goes forth. Everyone's stuck in the old uh, trenches. Let's throw them out over the top. I shouldn't think you've seen a lot of the old uh, main generals there at this, this point in time. You know what I mean. The old ones who come up, the old ideas. They never got happen. I've got to give a big shout out to the lads club. Well, we started when I was a young lad. No sort of, as a sort of club for people to go to with all sports. Sports has finished, but there is a boxing club left. But that was there. Uh, that saved a lot of young lads, that did. Me included. So. Bigger shout out to all them people who do that sort of work. Brilliant. The Lads Club. Norwich Lads Club. Can anyone have any memories of the Norwich Lads Club? Or any sort of club when you're a kid? Has anyone seen Mark Scouse? Mark O'Callaghan. We believe he's disappeared to Cyprus. Under the alias, he, he's gone calm down. He? He's gone calm down. He's trident, apparently. He called himself a, a carpenter, but a joiner. Oh, sorry, a joiner. Yeah, joiner, yeah. But in the loosest of terms. But anyway, if anyone can sort of tell us his whereabouts, we'd appreciate it. But at last, we heard he is. He's living out in Cyprus. Hello, Marky. How are you? All right, Hi, Mark. Steve. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pasty day today, boy. Day. Oh, yes. Every day's pasty day, yeah. We've got a little microwave set up today. We need Cornish. No, we need Cornish. And we've got two uh, other chaps who got to be there with us, but unfortunately, we ain't got them. Pasty, we didn't know they got to be here. Even if we did, they Oh. <laughs> They wouldn't appreciate it, Bob. No. I don't think the North Norfolk Regiment would either, you know. No. I think one of them would. Yeah. Mind you, I know, I think the other one, I think he's secretly, yeah, he would have one secretly, you know. Yeah. Well, there is vegetables in it, isn't it? Well, yeah, true, yeah, yeah, yeah. There is vegetables. Yeah, yeah, that's where you can spit the meat out. Yeah. He'd get that old dog of his to have a little go for it. He'll have what the dog does eat. I never had him down as a dog walker, boy, I tell you. Never. He'd give it the whole him what a dog. Yeah. And now, what he say every morning, boy, he's walking along with a bag of poop in his hand. Yeah. He's sold out. Right. Went over to the second panel. First panel's done. We're obviously going to have a little bit of pop, Master. So many we can get. When I'm pointing, I like to start at the bottom, but that's just my preference. Work my way out with my cross joints first, which are those ones. Then work my way along as I get more confident and comfortable. But I say, I've got no right or wrong way, it's just what worked for me. You might do it and find a way that worked for you. At the end of the day, if you get the result you want, it doesn't matter how you do it.
all I can throw out is the 40 years of her experience, but I've not, I don't really know nothing. Give your knees, mate. Look at them bad boys. Ah. I'm laying on an old dog blanket. Dog still up. <laughs> <laughs> Let him up. Ah, oh, there. <laughs> Thank you. That's what you had to pull with in this game. Insults. If anybody out there in the old air uh, watching these videos can supply me with a decent pair of boots, my boots I had, I would love to test out some boots with maybe some firm who supply boots, I don't know. Perhaps you can contact our uh, man who contact at Building with Bud. I think uh, a pair of size sevens, a pair of nines, and a pair of tens. I think that's what we need. What size are yours, boss? I'm a nine, boss. Yeah, so a pair of nines, a pair of tens, but I'm a seven. That's me who need the most, all right? So, if you only got sevens, we'll just get started with that. Fantastic! You get work boots in kids' sizes? <laughs> oh, dear. There must be someone out there sponsoring a pair of boots. I think that's illegal now. Kids working on buildings like Especially that. ones with uh, decent laces would be good. When you start doing this, the, the hardest bits of the corners. You just got to get a little knack. Just getting that bit on that corner to start is an absolute pain in the butt. So have a go. And when you point it, you got to point it away from it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So there's the finished pointing up. Yeah. <laughs>